The squad needed a bounce back game after that last one. That was ugly. Too many errors, too many mistakes, and it ended up costing the team. If you're wondering why Brandon Phillips is still on the team, because in the last video I said that I got rid of him. This was actually recorded the day of as well. I think this might have been, yeah, this was the game right after that last video I posted. But I put my Diamond Dynasty player in at second base just to see what he could do for the team. And didn't even know he was a 97 overall second baseman. So I put Brandon Phillips back because I was wondering if this guy was bad luck. My Diamond Dynasty player, he goes out there, we get the L in his first game that he played. And coming out of the gates of this game, weird shit was already happening. Crawford gets on base with the leadoff single. And then I'm advancing all the way to third base on this guy making some mistakes. So the tables have turned from the last game. My opponent, feel where are you going? But my opponent is making some mistakes out of the gate rather than myself making weird ass mistakes. Batista just getting under that one. I thought that was gone for sure. That wasn't even to the warning track right there. So we're going into the bottom of the first. We got the one nothing lead. Always good to get off to those early leads. Syndergaard versus DeGrom in this game too. Battle of the Mets aces. And Syndergaard was starting off with the K. One down now with Bogarts up at the plate. Is it just me or does everybody seem to have that Xander Bogarts now? It seems like everybody has that Xander Bogarts, Chris Bryant, and it's kind of starting to seem like everybody has that Yoenis Cespedes as well. Those are the three main diamond guys you see on the field for the most part. Yogi Berra, dude. Can this guy keep building the legend? And now on one and two, this might be a spot where that high fastball was just a setup so that he can come back with that big curve. Back goes Harper, still ranging back. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain, a home run. I am telling you, Yogi might be turning into the greatest to ever step on the diamond. It is getting insane, man. I moved him up in the lineup, as you saw, to the number five spot. And I don't even know why I was disrespecting the guy. He was batting like eighth or seventh or eighth. Seventh was the highest he was batting in the lineup since I picked him up. I have no idea why because he was the best hitter on the team since I picked him up. I guess it was a good thing to have one of those hitters at the bottom of the lineup. Man, he is an RBI machine. Lately, he has been going off at the plate via the home run. So I needed to get him up into a spot where he can possibly do some more damage in the five spot. Possibly a spot in the lineup where you can cash in all those RBIs and stuff right after Batista. And exactly first at bat of this game and first at bat being moved up in the lineup. Yogi is showing that he should stay there and I may even move him up further. I was actually thinking about putting him at the three spot and moving Reggie Jackson back to the five spot. And maybe that will be the case for the next video. But yeah. What, what I was saying before in the previous videos when I was trying to get Jacoby Ellsbury, I finally got him, man. I got Jacoby Ellsbury on the squad. The 96 Ellsbury, not just the rookie. I got the prime Jacoby Ellsbury because, man, it was weird. The rookie Ellsbury was going for around 150000 or something like that. But his prime was also going for like 175000 So I had enough stubs to get his rookie card. But I didn't have enough to get his prime card, so I just put a buy order up on the market, and some dude took that order. So now I got the prime Jacoby Ellsbury on the team. And once I found out that you needed to get five triples with that rookie Ellsbury, I mean, I was just sitting there thinking, I was like, I don't even remember the last time I hit a triple. So that's probably going to take me a long time. Maybe, I don't know, maybe some people think that it's easy to get triples. I don't think that's the case, man. I, like I said, I don't even remember the last time I got a triple. It might have been... That game where I hit three triples with Crawford at Fenway when they went off the monster. I think that was the last time I did get a triple. And that was like over a week ago, maybe even two weeks ago. So I was sitting there saying, man, this is not going to be easy. So I might as well just pick up his prime card. And I don't know why that card is dropping so much to begin his reign in MLB. Because I honestly think that is one of the sickest outfield cards at the moment in the game. You can call me a crazy fucking person. But I honestly think that is one of the best outfield cards. And the, the only thing that is wrong with that card is his arm strength and arm accuracy isn't good. That is the only thing wrong with that damn card. Everything else is insane. I don't even know what to say anymore, man. Like, seriously, that card is, is ridiculous. Like, I don't know if people have been seeing his stats. The guy has good contact. 
good power, and he has 96 speed, uh, and good fielding, and reaction. I don't know what else more you could ask from a guy, especially in the outfield. And, dude, I may actually take a run at that 97 Verlander, too, because he has been dropping like a fucking rock. I don't even know how it's possible, but he has been dropping more than I would have even imagined, and he was going for around 135,000, and, yeah, I may take a run at him at some point. Batista flies out after Reggie goes down on the Ks. Yogi, is he back at it again? Yogi Berra steps in and perhaps looking to drive another one out of the park just like he did in the second. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Harper ranging back to the track, to the wall. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. Somebody stop this man. Somebody lock this guy up in a cell to never be released. Somebody needs to do it. He cannot be stopped. Second home run of the game. It was just a couple, I think it was two videos ago, he also hit two dingers. So, you don't even know what is going on with Yogi, man. Yogi doesn't have the craziest power, but lately he has been... Is, Yogi might be on juice. The guy might have injected some steroids because I don't even know what's going on the past couple games. The guy has like five home runs in the past three games or something like that. So, I don't even know what the hell is going on. Yogi will definitely be uh, staying at this spot in the lineup, possibly even moving, moving him up to the third spot in the next game like I already said but yeah with that uh with that Ellsbury man I'm get, I'm trying to get some gameplay with him ASAP I just picked him I picked him up really late last night so I really didn't I didn't play a game at all with them and yeah like once I noticed that you had to get five fucking triples with that rookie I was like fuck that I'm trying to get the prime card and I got him really late so I didn't really have time to get gameplay with him so I'm going to try and do that ASAP notch it's going to be at the latest tomorrow, at the at the absolute latest, there will be gameplay of the first game that Ellsbury has played tomorrow. Maybe very late today, like very or my time, very late. But it's going yeah, at the very latest. It's going to be tomorrow, and I don't know, man. That Verlander too. Uh, he somebody said he was sick, and he looks pretty sick, judging by his stats. And is it just me? Is it just me, or did nobody understand why that Tim Lincecum was going for such a high price in the market for so long? And then guys like that 97 King Felix and then 97 Verlander come out, and then they drop to around 130,000 in the first couple days at the road. But that Lincecum comes out, and he was going for like 400,000, 300,000 for like weeks. I don't know. Does that card even look that good? To me? Like, that Verlander looks just as good as that... Uh, that fucking Tim Lincecum, if you ask me. And that Lincecum was going for a shitload of stubs forever. I never got that, man. That might be, I might be the only sad sack on the planet who was looking at that Lincecum and being like, this guy should not be going for that high of a price. And finally, just like the past week, he finally dropped down to a decent price. After Bautista sends one deep to right field, this motherfucker is at it. Again, Yogi finding the gap for his third hit of the game. Didn't go deep. I was trying to go deep with all the power in the world. And he just draws one to the gap for the stand-up double. So we're now in the eighth. Obviously, I still got the lead. Phillips, sit your ass down. That is why you're off the team. The guy has been a walking strikeout. Has just been a walking out in general for the past couple games. For the past couple weeks, he has pretty much been a guaranteed out. Syndergaard's still on the hill in the bottom of the eighth. Why take him out? He only has one hit on the board, I'm pretty sure. That seventh inning has been killer for my perfect games. I've had about two perfect games on the run in the past week or so and the seventh inning both times dude came up with a hit and that i don't know the seventh inning is just killer for if you're going for the no hitters or the perfect games donaldson goes down in the top of the ninth to end uh the top of the ninth and then bottom of the ninth i'm getting the k to lead off the inning good start fielder is up at the dish always gotta be careful throwing it to this guy and he comes up with the base hit to right or does he Batista tries to go for the out. That was very close. Closer than I would have thought. And then next guy coming to the plate is going down on the strikeout. So Jackie Bradley Jr. is this last guy's hope. His last chance to do something. Starting him off with a high heater right there. High strike. 0-1 count. 
going down in the strike zone, lays off of it. So next pitch, he is swinging, and he is grounding out to Hanley at first base. That is game, set, and match. And that was just a good bounce back game. Yogi, I don't even know what to say, but he could possibly be the greatest of all time.